Scientists think they've made the first measurements from the cosmic dawn, the period in the universe's history when the first stars began to shine. But how can scientists study something that happened more than 13 and a half billion years ago? Well, to understand that, you need to start with hydrogen. Hydrogen is a cosmologist's best friend. They use it to study everything. You see, a quirk of hydrogen is that it can emit photons as it switches between states, specifically photons with a wavelength of around 21 centimetres. When astronomers point radio telescopes at the sky, they see a mess of different radio waves, but nestled in there is always that 21 centimetre line. These emissions from hydrogen have helped scientists to map the universe. It's how they discovered that we're sitting in a huge spiral-shaped galaxy, the Milky Way. But hydrogen isn't just useful for studying the universe today. Right after the Big Bang, the universe was a dark soup of electrons and protons. The particles soon clumped together as hydrogen. And after hundreds of millions of years, hydrogen collected into stars, generating light. Cosmologists call this the cosmic dawn. That primordial light is hard to see with a telescope because the tiny amounts of light made by the first stars would be extremely faint. So scientists have taken a slightly different tack. You see, when that light was first created, it changed everything, including the hydrogen itself, crucially making it able to absorb radiation at its favorite 21 centimeter line. With this in mind, rather than look for emission from hydrogen, Cosmologists have looked instead for its absorption. They turn to the cosmic microwave background, the mess of radiation left over from the Big Bang. In theory, the moment light hit that early hydrogen, it would have started absorbing this radiation. And that should have left a blip in the CMB. And that, after decades of scouring for evidence from this time and two years of verification, is what cosmologists have found. But here's where it gets interesting. The signal they found is not at 21 centimetres anymore, because space itself is expanding. That line has stretched over time, which is handy for us, because the amount of stretching, the wavelength the light is at now, tells us how long the light has travelled, and so when those stars formed. Finally, this allows scientists to put some dates to the beginning of the cosmic dawn. But that isn't all. While the time the first stars formed seems about right, the signal is way bigger than cosmologists predicted. A lot more radiation was absorbed from this cosmic microwave background than makes sense given what we know so far about the early universe. Something doesn't add up. And one tantalizing possibility is that we may be seeing the influence of dark matter. Now, this is far from confirmed, but if true, it would give us a wealth of information about dark matter's properties and where to look for it. So this little blip could not only give us a snapshot of the first stars, but it could be the key to unlocking one of the biggest mysteries in physics.